Hey folks, it's Father Long Gaming here, and we're back for a first video back in a long time. So, um, we're playing a new mod that I found. It is um, the Holy Land or something like that, and it's this, the only start on it is the Last Crusade, and you play as Jerusalem. So we are going to play with these options open here: bonuses, non AI difficulty, normal, lucky nations, historical, terra incognita, and lobby. Yeah, you don't need to know that there. Um, so accept them. Difficulty looks as if it's going to be absolutely deadly, but yeah, we're going to go on. So um, it's been a long time since I've recorded anything. Um, couple of reasons, exams mostly, and um, been trying to, you know, knuckle down, get something done with the exams, and, um, well, it's not easy for the exams at all, so, whenever this loads up, whenever it wants to load up, there we go, we're in now, so, first of all we go to the political map, so, that's not us, so we have the four provinces here, um, we're, we are in the middle of the Mamluks, and I don't really like that. We have four provinces. One is is Catholic, and the rest are Sunni. Mm -hmm. What's our ideas like? Um, preserve our troops, tax reform. So it's nothing, nothing special. An extra. Okay. Too few rivals. So this is a new thing in the uh, in the whole game that we never seen before. And um, well, what it is is that these power projection points. That if you get twenty five power projection points, you get an extra leader, and if you get fifty you get an extra one of every monarch point. So the way you get these power projections is if you do things like claim rivals. So we're going to make these two our rivals because they're the only two available and um, the only two viable for. You know we could, we can't rival these over here because they're too small. So big nations can't rival small nations anymore. That's a big, that's a change. Also um, there's only a limited amount of rivals you can get, so you know I can't just go across here to Hungary and click. Yeah, I want him to be my. Rival. No, the game picks the rivals, and then it gives you a set outline of rivals, and then you just choose which one you want. So that's different in the game. That I haven't seen that before, and um, well, I quite like it. It's um, it's different. So we did see that. Um, where is this? Where do we see our rivals? I can't actually remember where we see our rivals. Yes, we do have um, two vassals, Antioch and um, Cyprus. So that's that's not bad. We do have um, the knights as an ally, and um, we are actually despised by the Mamluks. So I did see that I can't I can't remember where you find this there, that's them. Okay, so you get extra projection points from defeating them in battles, um claiming their provinces, um or the embargoes. Embargoes are a big thing. But the biggest thing we need to happen at the minute is the Mamluks go to war with the Ottomans so that we can can maybe attack the, the Mamluks and take a few provinces. We did see that they have um, over 200,000 more men than we do. We've got armies. Um, well, we don't want to know this. Mamluks, the 12,000. We've only got 5. Our force limit is 7, so we are going to we're gonna make them two extra regiments right away. They could be useful. So, yep. 
for one soldier and one um, cavalry. Disputed succession. Yeah, we have advisors. Um, morale of navies. No. Morale of armies is good, but do we want to pay the money? We don't have the money at the minute that upkeep one, so we'll not bother with that. We do want to try and get a few allies. Who can help us? Hmm. We could. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and make friends with the the Ottomans. What about Morocco? Distance. Um, Poland would be another one we could. Golden Horde. But Crimea always all allies themselves with the Ottomans, so if we ally both of them. Mm hmm. But if if the Mamluks declare war on us, it'll be a defensive call. Ottomans will take over the war, and they'll call in their allies. So Crimea will come in anyway, hopefully. Um, Castile. Hmm. Naples, no. I'm just gonna check. Um, I'm gonna go by country and find hedge. Head, you have 6,000 men, so whenever we make these two regiments, we'll actually have more men than them. Plus our vassals, I forgot about them. At the, at the minute, we probably could actually take. The Mamluks? Could we? The the Mamluks up here. Okay, so they have twelve thousand men. We have five, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen if they would sixteen if they would come in. Okay, so we do have more men. The force limit is bigger. A fair bit of manpower. But, but let's see their navies as well. Um, 15 ships. A lot of galleys. Where we have 5. Um yeah, we wanna go home at war. Right, but we're gonna we're not gonna attack them yet. It'd be be stupid to do that, but it is actually a, a an option at the minute. Um We could actually convert this with Very slow, 0.5. We couldn't convert that. We could convert the low tax base ones. And we do want Jerusalem to be our own, own culture. But we're gonna go on a bit first. Wait till. Yes, they've rivaled each other. No, they haven't. They can't rival at war, I don't think. Improve relations with Antioch. Yep, we'll do that. So this is a this is a different start than um, than what we've seen before. I think it's a mod. I didn't know it is a mod, I know it's a mod. Mm, Poland. But could Poland get here? 
if the Ottomans come into the war, they could lose prestige. Oh no. Could actually lose our... How do you break off a... How do you break off the... Um, I'm not 100% sure how you do that. I think it is probably prestige. Less prestige, I think. Yeah. So we're going to have to get our prestige up pretty soon. So. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, we are in the carrier. This is another thing that I quite like a lot. Is um, automatic spending for of your um, people... Um, what do they call people influence? Yep. So you click that button. You click someone. You click the button, and automatically any point that you get will go into that person. Now, it isn't the best because you you put all your points into the one person, but it is. It's good that if anyone else tries to come in and steal them, you just automatically spend the points. So. Um, I suppose it's it's good in one sense, and um, <laughs> but it spends all your points and you can't spend them in any world. So there's the downsides to it as well. Yes, we did pause that actually to go and check on our trade. So at the minute we um, we are in the Alexandria note, all our promises in the Alexandria note. So we do want to collect from trade, and we are. Yes, so we do want to actually get a bit more power in the Alexandrian node. What where are we? We're right at the bottom, nearly. There we are. We have thirteen point eight trade power. No. Yep, we do want to put our, our ships into that. Hold on, let's take a look at something. Crete. Ah, they, they start with Crete, yes. Nexus. Yeah, they're allied. We'll not attack them. What about... Okay. We can't just declare war, but there is the new CB that you can, um, if 23%, no, it would never work. Yeah, what we're going to do is, I'm going to click off these transports. We don't, we're not going to be going anywhere. And we are going to go and connect to it, Alexandria. So where is our other merchant? One there. Where is the second merchant? We do have two merchants. Oh, we've one available. Okay. So we don't actually know where this is yet. So we can't actually attack, or we can't actually um, direct trade up this way just yet. Can't actually move it in any way to Alexandria node. The Alexandria node is quite a hostile node because everyone is looking a bit of um, a bit of the node to try and purse the trade on. Because take a look at it, there is two point two point ten ducats coming out of Alexandria every every tick of the month. So what we need to do is we need to try and create a big enough navy to try and combat that and keep the um, the trade within within this region. So we are losing money still. We are going to have to lower the maintenance. I think our best bet is to... No. Okay. So we just move these troops together. We 
they get a good relation with them. Yeah, they are still at war. What about Mamluks? Are they allied with all the, the small one province miners in Ottoman territory? What about Tunisia? No, they would never join me. Aragon. Ooh, that would be probably better than the um, than the Ottomans. The Ottomans are never going to join us. To be fair, they have um, the desire Cyprus, which is quite hard to get away. That's a new new thing in. Yeah, we're going to have to get an ally pretty quickly. So, um, we send them off. What is our skill like at, um, okay, so we actually do need to try and get a prestige up pretty quick, and, um, one way we can do that is, where can we integrate 82 and 82. What about you? Golden Horde, Ramazan. Byzantium. Mm hmm. We could go and beat up Byzantium. We have no CB. could get a CB. First of all, we want to try and get Aragon. No, they're not going to do it just yet. Um, hmm. Let's look at the trade. But no to use in Ragusa. No, it's too splintered. You would never... Byzantium have 30%. We can get 10%. We can justify a trade war, I think. No. I thought that was a new add-in. Hmm. I thought it was a justified trade war put in here, but it's obviously not. What we do want to do is we'll go on um, issue an embargo against these ones. So the mission is um, to a hundred. Yeah, we'll just let that run for the minute. We have crap generals, and our leader isn't very good. Our error is even worse. Where is our Ur commander? Oh, he's not. He's not. I think I just hired one. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. So it's quite a slow start at the minute. It's not, not the fastest thing in the world, but um, it'll hopefully, it'll hopefully do all right. Could support rebels. If we look at, if we look at me. I have no claims on anything. You would think the um, Catholic nations would actually like me quite well for being Jerusalem, but that doesn't seem to be the case. What about the Mamluks now? Where are they? The Mamluks. 13,000 and Hidj, Hidj 7. So we have the same army as Hidaj, but they're allied with the Ottomans. Would they get through? Um, 
not sure if we get through here. We'd probably get through there and come down and help help their ally. There's only four problems. We could go on um man accent. Oh, War of the Roses in England. That's always quite bad, but that's always because of their low manpower. So we wanna take you home. New mission. Um Hamas. Hmm, there. Could just create a claim. What do we get for it? Five prestige. Yeah, we'll take that one. Takes up a diplomat for a year, but that's alright. Ah, it doesn't it doesn't worry. Oh yes, we forgot to embargo them. Hmm. So they're still not happy. And um I think that's where we're gonna have to end this episode because um Well there's not much happening. And um hopefully in the next episode we can uh, maybe go to war with Hidaj. I'm just worried about this allied with the Ottomans possibly go in maybe a war with <laughs> they're allied with a lot here Algiers obviously the Ottomans Naples and Aragon I think Byzantium's actually probably our best bet Serbia and Bosnia normally start fighting Yeah, uh, well, we're gonna take a look at that next time. Um, so join me in the next episode for a bit more of Crusader Kings. Or oh, damn me, Europa Universalis for Jerusalem campaign. So I'll see you then. Ciao for now.